Like, even if you started tomorrow, yeah, and then the next day calisthenics blew up, you're still going to be a pioneer. Yeah. Regardless. <laughs> Yo, my guy, what's up? What's up? What's up? We out here. What's up, Warriors? And welcome back to the channel. I'm out in Miami. I was here to judge the UFCL Battlegrounds 2, and I linked up with my main guy, Starboy. Come on, we out here. So, if you guys don't know who this man is, you better find out. Boss part to the world, I'm back. Come on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so me and this dude met a few years ago, um, just traveling and competing. Honestly, this guy's been all over the world. So really, mm. if you don't know about this guy, go on his page, look him up a little bit because he's a huge part of our community, the calisthenics community. He's done so much. He's been an athlete, a judge, a host, and mm. overall, just a huge pillar of our culture. Um, you know, he's one of the few guys who really made calisthenics his life and he's gone places with calisthenics, but has always stayed true to his roots and stuck to what got him to where he is, which is our fucking amazing sport. Um, so that's why, like, when we linked up this time, I was like, listen, bro, let's have, let's have a sit down, chop it up. I want to pick mm -hmm. your brain a little because I really think that you guys have to listen to what this man has to say. So if you're ready, let's get into it. Let's go, bro. Talk to me. Talk to me. All right, bro. I got a few questions. I'm going to shoot at you, but really it's open-ended, bro. So yeah, just, you know, speak your it. mind. Yeah. So basically, bro, right now you're in Miami. Yeah. But you didn't start out in Miami. Nah. So, so originally I came from England. So I started off training 2013, like just for fun, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then eventually I got, I got better and better and better. And then I found out there's a few comps here and there in England. And from then on, bro, I never looked back. I met like Big Spot and Small Spot and like the same year. Uh -huh. And they were like, yo, you might as well become Bar Spot, uh, blah, blah, blah. At first I was like, mm. and then second time come round, I was like, all right, let me check it out. See how it is, linked up with Smalls, linked up with the Spartans, the whole gang. Yeah. And then from then on, bro, it, we just all clicked. So when we link up, we'd always plan trips. Like, I think the first time we flew out as a gang was like Amsterdam. But from then on, we just like started traveling together, yeah. you know? Yeah. Um, and then everything just evolved from there. All the networking, every athlete from like Spain, France, Amsterdam, Belgium, like pretty much all Europe, bro started inviting us, you know, um, like me, it was me, Sensei, Smalls, um, Ming at the time, she was at the, t um, she was a part of the team then, and just, like Ohms, like all the gang, yeah, yeah, would yeah. roll deep, fam, yeah. like 10 man deep, yeah. would be rolling, and I think like that year, we went to, like me and Ohms went to Spain, and we just traveled, judged a few events, like, just represented basically. Yeah. Um, yeah, like from then on, we just stuck with it, bro. And then I think it was like at the end of the year, right? It was like October, November, something like that. Yo, the World Cup, we, 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 we entered the World Cup. So the submission video that we did, like, we came first. Yeah. And it was like, it was. He's us. talking about the Bahrain. Yeah, the Bahrain. Team team, yeah, the team, the team. Yeah. The team um, battles, bro. Yeah. It was like four man, four man battle. Yeah. But um, it was like I said, it was me, Sensei, Denton at the time. He was a part of the team as well, uh, and Smalls. So we traveled over there. It was like there was like the Polish team, um, USA, U USA, Ukraine, Bahrain, Spain. Um, yo, there's so many teams. Like there was ten teams. Yeah. And we battled it out, and then in the end, we made it. We made like the finals, and then, like, we ended up coming second. Yeah. You know, and then from then on, like, we just took the whole business side to another level, like, n like networking, like, you know, representing brands. Started. We started to work with the WCO. Like, there's only two governing bodies in yeah. this whole sport right now. It was the Russians and the Americans. Yeah. But we're real cool with the Americans, like West Coast, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like LA, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. 
So then, from then on, we started getting good links with like WCO, started meeting you guys, um, tatted, like just the whole West Coast yeah. gang. Um, from then on, we just carried on networking, carried on training, like yeah, business yeah, yeah. wise as well. Like we learned so much. We had to wear all the hats too, bro. Yeah. We had to be the PR, we had to be the graphic designer, we had to be the videographer, we had to be the photographer, we had to be the influencer. Like we had to wear all the hats to yeah. to kind of establish our team boss bar, you know? But it took us like, it didn't take us long because at the time too, like 2017, 18, it was like comp season. Like Smalls was heavy on it. Yeah. Sensei was heavy yeah. on it. I was heavy on it. Ming. Yeah. Like at the time, Ming was like, she became a champion. Yeah. Like at the World Cup. So we were like putting in work, bro. Yeah. You know? It didn't take us that long, like I said, because we got established real quick, you know? And you guys made noise, bro. Like, I, I uh -huh. feel like I wouldn't be where I'm at yeah. if you guys didn't make the noise that you guys made. Everything, yeah. bro. Like, when I came into the sport, yeah. it was Sensei's face was everywhere, planching yeah. on the king of the bar, like yeah. thumbnails. And exactly. you was screaming, like, hold that, yeah. hold that. And uh -huh. I feel like the whole, like, we caught on to that energy. You guys yeah. brought an energy. Exactly. Like, we were always, we were all, like, at the time, there was so much politics too, bro, with the, the rappers, the freestylers, you know? Yeah. But, like, teams wasn't, like, there was teams, but they, they didn't last, Yeah. if that makes sense. Yeah. Like, there would always be some conflicts or whatnot. But with us, it's all about just that good energy, keeping that good energy and just spreading that to the, to the community, you know? Yeah. So then we just stuck with that. Worldwide, like I said, yeah, like we'd travel and it was like we'd just be making noise, shouting, hold that, yeah. like, you know, giving everyone energy. So from then on, like, that's what, um, that's what we're known for kind of thing, like yeah. energy, you know, just, yeah. and till this day, bro, I still get booked to go to host just to, yeah. you know, to hype the, the athletes up. I, I actually, um, I was actually hyping you up in Dubai, remember? Yeah, yeah, oh. of course I remember, bro. Yeah. For me, yeah. bro, it's all about the culture, like. I wouldn't be here in Miami right now with you, bro, uh -huh. during COVID if it wasn't for the culture, like the bars, because yeah. I wouldn't have met my wife and I wouldn't have, you know, got to where I am now, bro, really. Yeah. So I always stuck with the culture, like bar life, you know, bar spot, uh, calisthenic, street worker, whatever you guys want to yeah. call it, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. man, is stuck to the culture. So I'm always trying to, like, push the culture the sport Hell yeah. to a different level so then you know the youngest bro because they're the future this is because right now the sport is small bro like we don't have enough athletes you know we need to push it together kind of thing so so i'm always like i'm always down for the culture when it's something to do with a with the community yeah you know what i mean so yeah like for me it's all about being consistent and just staying on the on the on the same track yeah so let me let me ask you something so what's life like now what's life like now oh my god life life now that i'm here is elevated bro to to a next level like i started my my um my videography business during covid and that blew up in england and then i moved here and it blew up even more like now it's is getting it's getting to the point that I'm so busy, bro, that I'm like missing, like training. Yeah. I haven't been training, fam. Yeah. Like, cause it's just been so busy. Yeah. Like networking, we're doing a bunch of events, we're getting flown here, there, everywhere, bro. Yeah. Just to, you know. It's crazy, bro. Cause like, a lot of people that watch our channel. Yeah. Like, you know, it, it's where we all started out. They're athletes. Exactly. And they don't realize that. There, there's another side to our sport, which is what is going to allow athletes to thrive, which uh -huh. is that part. Business. Networking, yes. business. Yes. Exactly, bro. Like, you have to wear all this hat. Like, you can't just be an athlete and think that your audience is going to come to you. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you got to put the work in, you got to market yourself, and you got to be con doing that every day consistent. It's another job. So, like, once you learn that, like, once we realized that we needed to do the business, because marketing, yeah, is the main important thing. Whatever you're doing, whether you're an athlete or you're a business, or you're just 
someone who's trying to sell a t-shirt. You need marketing, bro. You have to spend money on marketing. And that's one of the main key. Like, you have to market. So, like, you have to take that other hat on, like, you know? Yeah. yeah so, yeah. you have to learn the business yeah. side of things. Yeah. Like, even to this day, I'm st we're still learning. I'm still learning that, like, there's always room for improvement, you know? Yeah. Um, and it's there's always a bunch of brands, too, always hitting us up, like... Yeah. But throughout the years, we've learned, like, how to deal with brands, how to deal with clients, and how to, you know, get a pro uh, business proposal together to send to a, a, a brand that maybe want to sponsor our events. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, whatever we want to do, we can kind of get sponsors, you know? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, I've learned all that on, that on the same journey. Yeah. I, I started off as like my job before was like a scaffold. I used to build stages for all the festivals and concerts. And when I found calisthenics, bro. Oh, on the scaffold? Yeah, the on scaffold, the scaffolding, bro, know. just pulling up. Yeah. Um, <laughs> bro, since then, like, I never looked back, bro. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm a guy, not everyone's like me, yeah? I'm a very bold guy. I would just do stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, you if know you what I mean? You feel it. If I feel that energy yeah. and the frequency is right, bro, I'm going to do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's no turning back kind of thing. So once I found and fell in love with calisthenics, bro, I never looked back. Yeah. Everything yeah. was like I was eating, breathing, sleeping. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. It was like a, it was a lifestyle gym. Yeah. You know, and it's changed me mentally as well. Changed me as a person. It made me grow up. I've learned so much things learn how to deal with different cultures, different athletes, different, you know, Absolutely. different people. You know what I mean, bro? Absolutely. It's taught me a lot, to be fair. Yeah. I still got all that belief from the very start, bro. Yeah. That it's going to blow up and we're all going to so be So let me ask you this. All right, let me ask you this. Because I feel like we connected because we're on the same wavelength, bro. Yeah. And we're on that same type of belief slash vision, you yeah. know? So... What do you think is in the cards for us, like the vision for our sport so that, because not every kid mm. is a businessman. Yeah. You know, some of us need to do that. Uh -huh. Some of them just need to train and be the athletes. And be the you athletes, feel me? Yeah. So for our sport as a whole, our culture, what do you think is in the cards for us so that we could get where we all really want to get? Like for me, honestly, bro, throughout the years that I've been doing this, like we just need that community like pushing it together you know yeah like forget all the politics and forget all the ego if we all connect and push this together like meaning like just always screaming calisthenics everywhere you go you know like just as a as a unit yeah one of these big brands nike adidas whatever it is yeah will believe in our sport yeah. Right? And we'll be able to, like, grow from there, bro. Yeah. Because right now, bro, we're, like, I feel like we will never be in the Olympics. Yeah. Yeah, because gymnastics is already there. But we will be on that category of, like, the extreme sports. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, X Games. X Games. Shit, skateboarding. Skateboarding. Because the whole, com the, our competition is... The same template, pretty much, yeah, bro. Yeah, it's freestyle, bro. Freestyle, exactly. Freestyle skate, skating, yeah. freestyle b-boys, yeah. you know, um, snowboarding. Yeah. Like, anything freestyle, like, even, like, you know, BMX, all that stuff. It's the same concept. Yeah. We get judged by strength, combination, overall performance, mm -hmm. you know, and just the way you are, your swag. Absolutely. So, I feel like we can be on that same category of, as the X Games, you yeah. know? We just got to keep pushing and keep believing, to be fair, bro. Yeah. Like, COVID, it kind of made us blew up even more. Yeah. Because no everyone, yeah, no yeah. gyms, and everyone's using whatever they can yeah. to get their workout in. So I feel, personally for me, yeah, like, we just got to be like this. Uh -huh. It's easier said than done because the ego, there's always going to be politics and there's always going to be ego. But I feel like that is what we need, man. Like every, if you're an athlete, you gotta keep you gotta scream calisthenics everywhere you go, man. Everywhere yeah. you go, you gotta market it. Everywhere you go, like, you know what I mean. If you know anyone that's 
know anyone in, in the industry, yo, scream Kali. Like, you have to market it, man. That's the only yeah. way, bro. Yeah. It's the yeah. only way. Because if these other if these you, other YouTubers are flipping, making money off of boxing, bro. Yeah. yeah. And they're not even a boxer, bro. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, they just know how to market. That's what we got to do. Yeah. Stick together as a unit. Just keep screaming Kali and keep oh, yeah. pushing it, bro. That's yeah. my belief. Yeah. Like, regardless if everyone's not into that, that's what I'm on. Yeah. Like, every everything I do, bro. Like, so I do the modeling. Though. Like, you know, when I'm yeah. when I'm modeling, I'm always doing Kali. Yeah. You know, I managed to bag like a, a little job with like um, DJ Khaled's music video, yeah, bro. I've seen that. Yeah. And that come from Kali, bro. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? So it's like everywhere you go, the 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 amount of you know stuff that you can do to market calisthenics is unreal, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You just gotta be on it. Hell yeah. That's my Hell that's yeah. my perspective, man. Absolutely. Bro. And you gotta everyone's gotta think the bigger picture, man. You know, because if this if this sport blew up, you, like even if you started tomorrow, yeah, and then the next day calisthenics blew up, you're still gonna be a pioneer. Yeah. Regardless. Oh yeah. So that, oh, yeah. that's that's what that's my belief, bro. That's been there yeah. from day one, bro. I you feel know? that, bro. And yeah. Yeah, I agree with you wholeheartedly, bro. I think that it's better to have to be a small part of something huge than to be a huge part of something that doesn't matter. So mm. you know, you gotta give back to the community at all times. Yeah. It's not about you. It's about the whole community and we need to push forward. And I think what people are doing, bro, like different organizations trying to elevate each event better than the last one, that's mm -hmm. good for us. Yeah. You know, different content creators filming it, putting out there, that's good for us. Yeah. All of that shit. Keep doing more of that shit because eventually we're going to get to that point. And I think really, in my opinion, the turning point is once we have that first event that makes more than it spends uh -huh. is when we really going to get the right eyes on us. Of course, you bro. You know what I mean? Definitely. It's been like, it's been a little while now, but you just, like, just got to hang on. You just got to hang on. Like, yeah. like, I've seen so many athletes come and go, bro, because yeah. they never had that belief. Um, yeah. I am where I am now because I've always had that belief. Yeah. Spartans were still here, and we've like you know we've me and Jay's had that same belief from the get go, bro. Yeah, and we're still you know getting booked for a bunch of stuff. Yeah, you know, um, because we've had that belief. So it's in just Cali, yeah. exactly, bro. Just that bar life. Yeah, and we yeah, put yeah. everything into yeah. it, like hundred percent, fam. Yeah, so it's lifestyle. So you just gotta have that, like I said, belief. Hell yeah, Because it's coming. It's coming. I, yeah, I you get what I'm it, saying? Bro. I feel it's it. It's coming. It's just like, it's just a matter of time now. You just got to hang on, people. Keep training, so, keep pushing. Let me ask you a final question. Mm -hmm. What do you got to say to the new gen? Like, to the new gen, like, you guys just got to keep screaming it. And obviously, you got you to gotta do some research of the, 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 the culture, the history of the culture. Because without the triple OGs now... Yeah, this sport wouldn't be here now. Because the whole freestyle game evolved from all the triple OGs. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Absolutely. Like from, from I'm talking like 2008 times. That's when it was like, it was evolving in that. So if I was you, like, just, just keep training, keep doing your research, try to attend as much competition, as much bar event as you can, and just, you know, meet new people all the time, try help one another, you know, help other people in your community that wants to train. Just do it with passion and do it with love, man, you know? Um, like I said, it's a lifestyle. Uh, you gotta, you gotta breathe, sleep, and you just wake up and you just keep doing it every day. <laughs> it's an everyday consistent thing, bro, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's all I can say, really. That's good. That's diamond, yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Like, yeah. that's all I can say. You just got to be consistent. Consistency is key, bro. Okay. That's it. Hell yeah, bro. Come Hell on, my yeah, brother, bro. man. Words of Yo, wisdom, bro. Exactly. Appreciate like, if you bro. don't know me, Add me on IG at Starboy.uk. Yeah, man. hell Come yeah, on, guys. Man. Look, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a plug all his shit down there. Uh, his IG, he just started a YouTube, so yes. I want you guys to go run that up too. Mm -hmm. uh, check his shit out, guys. Connect with this man. 
he has a wealth of knowledge to give. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, if you did, please like, subscribe. And if you want to see more, draw anything you want to see in the comment section. I read all the comments and we try to make it happen. Much love, my people. Peace. Appreciate you, bro.